Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Goopy Apple, and today we are going to learn how to add the Homemakers mod to Fallout 4. And you know, it gives you a bit of help with other mods as well. I've only just started babbling into actually doing mods for games, and then I came across that you know I was trying to look for these games, and I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't find a way how to add these mods. You know, like you know, I put in how to add the Homemaker mod to Fallout 4. And to my surprise, you know, there was very, very limited options. And, you know, like there's ones like how to install manually, but I set, tended to realize that I was installing some mods and they were working, but some weren't. And, you know, so I just wanted to make a video, help some other people possibly that are struggling with this. So, yeah, so first, you know, the, one of the, you know, first things you have to do is you need to add Vortex. Uh, Vortex is basically just a mod management uh, system. You know, it just helps. It's a lot easier than doing it manually. Trust me, I tried to do it manually and I completely and utterly failed. So, but yeah, no. So, you know, the way to do that, and I will leave it in the link as well. I will leave it in the description as well, the link. Uh, uh, you go to a place called Nexus, and on there, they have like their own mod management uh, system, which is called Vortex. This is that here. Uh, I will leave the link in the thing, but in the description below, so that you guys can actually add it yourself. When that is actually downloaded and you install it, uh, it will come up then with this, you know. So the first thing you need to do, the first thing, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not going to be, you know, it's not going to work well for you anyway. Is um, you need to make sure that with your games that you have Fallout 4 is managed. You know, you just go to the the plus button here. You know, like on the other games here, and just manage. You just manage. It's easy as that. You know, uh, after you've done that, then you know you're ready to download your mod. You know, so you know, uh, yet again, use Nexus. Nexus is one of the best providers for mods. It's one of the most trusted as well. I <laughs> I, I I you know couldn't find it anywhere, but now I found it. Yeah. So yeah, we have the Homemaker Expanded Settlements mod. You know, by Nova Crew, probably one of the best. Uh, mods I've come across, you know, whatsoever. Yeah, so here we are. We are on the Homemaker Expanded Settlements. So, there's one more thing just before we actually download this, yeah, that I really need to explain to you guys, because otherwise, you know, I, I tested it and it didn't work at that time. Right, before we actually download this, right, we go into our documents, right, yeah, I'll go right back to documents, so we're exactly where you, this is the documents, right? Uh, we got to go into my games, go into the Fallout, yeah, and we need to see. I try, I've done it on base game, it doesn't matter as soon as you put this modification in it or go into either one, right? Uh, but you're supposed to go onto Fallout 4 Custom. INI, right? Yeah, and then you have to add this to the bottom of the lettering, right? Yeah, I use Notepad, it's simple, easy, it works, right? Yeah, so, yeah, we just add that, right? Um, what I'll do is I'll put that bit of code down in the description below as well, right? Yeah, you just add that in there and it'll give the option to, you know, add the uh, the modification. Uh, after we've done that, then it's literally just, we go back to here, we go to files, add mod manager, you click into mod manager, uh, it will take you to here. You slow download or fast download if you're, you know, if you're a subscriber. Or, you know, you pay for the added benefit. Uh, open it up. I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to do the actual thing, right? But um, it will then come here. It will, it will download. After that, you install it. After it's been installed, then you will enable it. But right? you have to make sure it'll come up in a little box at the top here. You have to make sure it's enabled because if you don't enable it, then it's not going to enable. It's not going to be put into the game. It'll also give you a couple of options on the screen, saying you know the particular options if you want to go for a particular build, if you want to go for some of the um, uh, the expanded uh, stuff that they've put on there. You know, it, it, you know, it, it, it gives you options on what you want from the files, which is really good, and that's why I like this. Um, uh, that's why I like Vortex. Uh, after that's all done and you've got it created and sorted, uh, you go to games and underneath Fallout here, it'll say, you know, mods, right? Yeah. And if it's your first mod, yeah, it'll say there, it'll say one active mod, 
right yeah and that's how you know then you just go into your game and you can play with the mod set up and sort it so yeah that is about it guys i hope this was useful to you guys and if it was i'd appreciate you guys liking subscribing and hitting that bell button it really does help guys i mean that thank you for everything and goodbye